Should you guys sell your entire Tesla stock and go all in into Amazon stock or sell your entire Amazon stock and go all in into Tesla stock or buy both? or neither. In this video, Amazon goes head to head with Tesla to see which is the better long-term investment until 2030. And sheesh, let me tell you guys, Amazon, <laughs> it's no joke. Yes, lately they've been showing garbage results, but let me tell you, man, long-term scope, <laughs> Amazon, whoo. I mean, no spoilers alert. You guys gotta watch this video to find out, man. It's 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 sheesh. It really is sheesh. So enough chit chatting. Let's get down to the video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, man. Let's go. By the way, guys, if you want to support this channel, now there's a few ways that you guys can. One of the ways to support this channel is to join a channel member, to become a channel member. Here you get perks like cool emojis and cool emblems next to your name, as well as some merch. I know you guys love the go all in poster wall, so that's available now if you guys want to get it. As well as some t-shirts, long sleeves, sweaters, mugs, and even sheesh shirts. So yeah, got a bunch of, a couple of you guys requesting for a sheesh shirt. So now, now there's a sheesh shirt, so you guys can get a sheesh shirt. But for now, there's the ways that you guys can support this channel later on there's going to be other cool perks coming and cool things coming too like for example these spreadsheets i have a ton of spreadsheets on tesla amazon google apple so many spreadsheets that soon will be available to view and to be downloadable too so you guys can play around with the numbers but that's going to come a little later i'll let you guys know when but anywho let's get back to the video all right so my regular viewers are very familiar with this chart if you guys are a new viewer don't worry about it these charts are extremely simple straight to the point and very easy to read and understand knowing that it's so easy to understand i'm not gonna go over a bit by bit because this video is gonna be probably a 30 minutes to an hour long and <laughs> that's too long man so if you guys want a complete step by step on how i got these numbers check out this video here it's pretty darn interesting so as you guys can see for a tesla stock price prediction chart everything is filled out except for the pe which you will figure out together to get the stock price but there is a slight difference here if you're a regular viewer of mine you guys would probably have noticed it now that in 2022 the vehicles delivered or the vehicles sold is below 1.4 yep Bruh. sorry guys i know i'm a i know i'm a tesla bull i'm going all into tesla but uh we have to be, you know, with reality now. And, you know, I don't think we're going to hit 1.4 million in 2022. It's just they're going to have close to 500,000 vehicles delivered in, uh, in Q4 of 2022. And that's I don't think that's going to that's that's just hard right now. I hope that's what's going to happen, but I got to be realistic. And, you know, I'm a conservative guy, so I brought it down to 1.375. So not to let down, that's, you know, that's still good because for 2023, it's going to be a monstrous year because, look, if Shanghai didn't shut down in Q2 of 2022, we would have been at least... 1.4 maybe itching close closer to 1.5 million vehicles delivered for 2022 but you know we lost 100,000 vehicles and yeah you can't there's nothing you can do about it so hope for the best for next year but uh 2022 full year vehicles delivered 1.375 million vehicles so which is still pretty good that's still record that's 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 it that's insane that's like a 50 percent almost 50 percent growth so that's nice and yes i did say by 2030 they will do 20 million vehicles delivered personally i don't think they'll do 20 million by 2030 most likely it'll be delayed for a couple or a few years we'll play around with this 20 million by 2030 at the end to see what the numbers will be what the stock price will be at the end compared to amazon so yeah stay tuned all vehicles being sold is going to have fsd which most likely is going to be in the 30 percent by 2030 is most likely going to be upwards of 50 percent so i just left 15 percent for the entire years from this year all the way to 2030 to stay conservative but with all that we still get almost a total revenue of almost 800 billion dollars and i put a net income margin of 25 percent which most likely it'll be upwards of 30 percent but 25 percent we get quarter of a trillion dollars which is absolutely crazy but also note guys that this is only vehicles and fsd a little bit of fsd not the full thing we don't have tesla insurance we don't have tesla energy we don't have robo taxi or the tesla bot that by 2030 there should be some sort of a sign of a tesla bot because based on ai day two man man the, the tesla bot that they made within six months absolutely insane if you haven't watched it yet check it out it's my first time watching it and it was the reaction video it was absolutely insane that deserves a sheesh but moving on the last thing to keep in note guys is that the shares are standing i said they're gonna dilute two percent every single year by 2030 most likely they're gonna start doing a buyback program by 2024 so we won't we won't see 3.8 billion shares outstanding by 2030 but who knows let's get down to the stock price because we need to find a pe first if you guys are ready man 
Why haven't that dude that smash that like button should have been smashed, man? Come on, man. Let's go. So in 2022, it seems like the total revenue, if they do 1.375 million vehicles, that means we'll get a net income close to almost 81 billion dollars, just vehicles and FST. Everything else is not included here. And with a 15% margin on that, with the FST, we get over 13.3 billion dollars. And knowing that we are in a bear market and Tesla stock is getting slammed, like man, at the moment is below 230 bucks per share like an absolute bargain and yes i've done lots of buying the point that i i almost have nothing left in my bank account and i have a trip coming up i have no idea how to pay that but you know we'll figure it out one way or the other but in this market we can continue to see tesla stock getting hammered down nobody knows how low it's gonna go to but in my opinion we could potentially retest the lows like we did back in june but if we do it's gonna happen this week or next week when the q3 comes out when they do a record earnings and record profits and record everything i don't think it's gonna be around these prices for too, too long. This is my personal opinion. I could be wrong. It might go to 100 bucks or, or 50 cents. I don't know, some bears say it. No one knows. But realistically looking and being trying to be rational, I know the stock market ain't rational. This could happen. But anyways, for 2022, I left it a PE of 75. Originally, it was 80, but because of the market sentiment and how everything is just so bearish and just bad news on top of bad news for some reason, I put 75 and we get a stock price of 309 and a market cap over $1 trillion. So if we can finish off this year with $1 trillion in market cap, that's amazing. And not to mention that we will only know the full year of 2022 or Q4 when it comes out the first month of 2023. So yeah, we got to wait another you know, three months for that in order to see this number of 309. But that's with a PE of 75. If the market is still bad, if everything's still bearish, I could see the, you know, the PE going down to a 65 and that'll be 268. Probably even a 60 PE, which will give us a 247, which is not too far off of what it is now. If you want to get super bearish with a record earnings, 55 PE, 227. I mean, that's, just, that's ridiculous. At 55 PE in 2022, while well, everything's ramped up and everything is just looking so good for Tesla and record earnings and record profits, 55 PE, it just doesn't make any sense. So that's why I left that at 75 PE. And I just don't see it going higher than that because the market sentiment is just really, really bad. It's very bearish out there. Now, before we move on to 2023, let's say you got $10,000 to invest and you're going to see how Tesla will close off 2022. And let's say it closes off at 309. You're not gonna buy it now where the stock price is 230 or 225. You're gonna buy it at the price where it's 309 because you know, 2022 end off at a record number, record revenue and record earnings. And you, you wanna be sure that a year of, of 2022 has been a difficult year, Tesla can pull through. And so with the price of 309, you decided to put $10,000 dollars into that investment which would give you around over a little bit over 32 shares the question is now can you 100 extra money by 2030 <laughs> let's see in 2023 i also gave it a p of 75 because maybe hopefully a year from now things will be a whole lot better you know low inflation it's under control cpi index is good the war in ukraine has you know cooled off it hasn't escalated further I really hope so. And interest rates are being cut because, well, I mean, we're no longer in a recession. Inflation is no longer high. We can see interest rates being cut and that'll just bring the whole stock market up, you know, automatically. With a 75 PE, I think that would make sense. Optimism and everyone, you know, going back to the markets. That will give us a stock price of 569 and a market cap over 1.8, almost $1.9 trillion. And you know what? This is very close to Gary Black's projection for the next six to 12 months. He set a price target of 550. Not bad, not bad. I think we are kind of in the same page, but um, let's see, let's see what happens. But if this happens, if they get 569 bucks per share, your $10,000 have now turned to um, over eighteen thousand dollars almost eighteen and a half like sheesh that's 84 percent return your money within a year that's insane that's insane but again guys that's only if 2023 is a better year than this year who knows in 2024 with a p of 65 we get a stock price of 815 and a market cap over 2.7 trillion dollars and your eighteen and a half thousand now has now turned to over twenty six thousand dollars like another another 8k on top of that that's absolutely insane in 2025 i gave it a pe of 55 and we get a stock price of 1113 bucks per share and a market cap almost reaching 3.9 trillion dollars and now your 26k has whoa you made 10k 
36,000 in 2025. So your 10K has now turned to almost 40K and it hasn't even been three years yet or four years yet. That's, that's insane, dude. In 2026, I gave it a PE of 45, which would give us a stock price of 1285 and a market cap over $4.5 trillion. Another 5K on top of that, man. Your, your 36K has turned to 41 and a half K. That's insane, dude. In 2027, I give it a PE of 40, and we're gonna test the stock price of 15, 19, and a market cap almost reaching $5.5 trillion. Another 8K on top of that, man, like 49K. Dude, that's just insane. In 2028, I give it a PE of 35, which honestly, guys, you guys think that we're gonna see 35 PE for Tesla this decade. Really? Do you know how many good surprises Tesla has in this decade? Do you know how many gigafactories they're gonna make this decade? Do you know all the vehicles they're gonna come out with? Do you know all the other things that are non-vehicle that's gonna happen to Tesla that's gonna... <sighs> Anyways, you guys get the point. 35 PE just doesn't make sense, but we're keeping things conservative and we're, you know, adding it here. With a 35 PE, we get a stock price of 1704 and a market cap over $6.2 trillion. Your 49K has now turned to 55K, which is... Man, that's just amazing. The 10K has almost 6 x that's amazing. What investment gives you that, man? Comment down below. What investment gives you this kind of return? In 2029, I gave it a PE of 30, which I don't believe this will happen. But again, we have to, you know, be realistic because in this prediction, in this chart, is only vehicles and FSD, nothing else and nothing more. With a 30 PE, we get a stock price of 1731 and a market cap almost reaching $6.5 trillion. Your $55,000 have now turned to $56,000. Congrats. And in 2030, if they do 20 million vehicles delivered in a single year, which would be absolutely insane. I also gave that a PE of 30. We get a stock price of 1976 and a market cap over $7.5 trillion. And your 56,000 has now turned to almost $64,000. Your 10,000 has now turned to $64,000. Like, sheesh, that's insane. That's a 640% increase. That's insane, dude. That's absolutely insane. And that's if you, and that's if you buy at 309 dude if you just buy at a cheaper price plan you could make more than 640 percent mean, that's absolutely insane that's the power of long-term investing in great companies now speaking of great companies let's see if amazon can have a better return than tesla so far nobody has beaten tesla in terms of greater return by 2030 not google not apple not nvidia not byd and let's see if amazon will be the next one on the list let's go and find out so amazon has been on a great trajectory so far since the 2022 pandemic all the way to 2021 they've done fantastic look at the sales and profits you know in 2020 they did about 386 billion dollars just more than that and a net income of 21.3 billion dollars and then in 2021 almost reaching 470 billion and a net income almost reaching 34 billion dollars so that's flipping impressive and the stock price got rewarded nicely from 2022 of 173 to 190 to 2021. So, sheesh, that's actually pretty darn good. And yes, guys, I am an Amazon investor too. I think they're a fantastic company and they have a fantastic future as well. And you'll see how great of a future they have in just a minute. But first, we have to figure out the sales and the profits for Amazon from 2022 to 2030. And the best place to find it is simply Wall Street. They're predicting that in 2022, they're going to have a total revenue of $522 billion and a net income of four what no that doesn't make any sense half a billion dude you're telling me they're gonna drop from 34 billion to half a billion in 2022 no that doesn't make any sense that's insane that's absolutely insane yes the past two quarters have been garbage but one billion you're gonna say q3 and q4 are gonna be bad too man that's just ridiculous and doing a little bit of research in q2 amazon said that they're gonna have a record revenue which is amazing which is good we can see in 2022 the analysts for simply wall street are saying the same thing 522 billion for 2022 but their earnings are saying for q3 can range between zero to 3.5 billion dollars <laughs> What kind of answer is that? What kind of stupid answer is that? That's like me lost in a car in the middle of nowhere and I asked the driver, how long are we away from Disneyland? His answer is one mile to 100,000 miles. <laughs> Oh, nice. What kind of, that's such a weird, that's such a stupid answer, man. Zero to 3.5 billion? I don't know. That's that's probably one of the worst answers I've ever seen anyone answer a question. That's just ridiculous. But reading between the lines, it seems like they're not going to be negative in Q3. So let's see. I mean, if they're going to reach 1 billion or, you know, half a billion in, in, in earnings of 2022, I doubt that. I think Q3 is going to be ugly too because um, thank you, Rivian, for, you know, crashing 80% and Amazon being behind that because... 
Ah, that's gonna be in a whole lot of video, man. Revian is gonna be a whole lot of video. But anyway, let's move on with the thing. You know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna put half a billion dollars. I'm gonna put one billion because that's just ridiculous. Anyways, one billion for total net income for 2022. And then the rest of 2023, 2024, I added here too, which they say they bounce back nicely to 24 billion, but not yet reaching all time highs. But then in 2024, that seems to be the case. So that's, that's good news. Now, finding 2025 to 2030, I couldn't really find anywhere else online. So we got Curious Peggy to figure this out. So let's go figure out. I made this little chart over here where I get year over year growth for the sales and profits. And as we can see, for total sales for the past three, four years is about 16%. And the total average profits we get here is 586%, which is just absolutely insane. I mean, I mean, that's just crazy. But you know, we can see from 2022 to 2023, if they do 1 billion and in an income, which they said they'll do half a billion, which is even worse. But you know, that's about 2,320% increase from 2022 to 2023. But from 2021 to 2022 is going to be a 97% decrease that's why we get this massive 586 percent what's really interesting is that from 2020 to 2021 there was a 58 percent increase and from 2023 to 2024 is going to be a 63 percent increase and that's because the reason why we have a massive increase in earnings is because they're doing massive investments today amazon is doing a lot of investments in 2020 when the whole world shut down Amazon bought planes from WestJet and Delta Airlines because, you know, it was a pandemic. No one was flipping traveling, restrictions everywhere. What are they going to do with these airplanes? And they had to keep paying for parking. So, you know, Amazon came and said, hey, I'll buy them planes that can reduce the cost of delivery and cost of the goods so I don't have to rely on FedEx, UPS, and DHL. <laughs> on top of that, because 2020 was a terrible year for retail stores like malls and anything to do to go outside shopping for yourself, that even includes groceries. That took a massive hit in 2020. So what Amazon did is that they went into shopping malls and not for shopping inside the store, to turn them into warehouses so that when you order something, you'll get it within 24 hours. It's, just, it's crazy what Amazon's doing. It's ridiculous. Based on this, what I did was is that for the revenue from 2025, I said they're going to grow at a 20% rate and we get $825 billion. For 2026, I said they're going to grow at 18%, which would give us almost $974 billion. In 2027, I said 15% they're going to grow, which would give us almost $1.2 trillion. So that's crazy. If they can do 1 trillion by 2027, that's insane. That'll be crazy. I mean, we're halfway there almost. So let's see what happens in 2027. In 2028, I also gave it a 15% and that's almost $1.3 billion. In 2029 and 2030, I said 12% growth and we finish off 2030 over $1.6 trillion, which is just absolutely insane. That's pretty much more than a triple in terms of revenue from now to 2030. That's insane. For the net income, however, I took a different approach. As we can see from 2023 to 2024, it's going to be a 63% increase. Like that's insane. But I said in 2025, they're going to grow at a 50% rate just for that year. And we get over $59 billion. In 2026, I said 40% rate. That'll give us $83 billion in net income. 2027, I said 35%. And that'll give us $112 billion. In 2028, 30%, almost reaching $146 billion. In 2029, a 25% rate of growth. Growth. That's $182 billion. And in 2030, I said 20% growth, almost reaching $220 billion in net income, which is just absolutely insane. I think it's going to be a whole lot more than that. By 2030, it's going to be over $300 billion, but keeping things conservative. For the shares outstanding, looking at history, it looks like Amazon has been diluting a lot. So I'm kind of surprised. I think a company of this magnitude would do buybacks, but then when you look at their revenue to their profits, I mean, the profits aren't much. So it wouldn't really make sense for them to do massive buybacks. So I said they're going to dilute at a 1% rate every single year up until 2030. EPS follows that as well. And now it's time for the PE to find the stock price, man. This is absolutely interesting and very, very exciting because Amazon normally trades at a very high PE. Investors are expecting massive growth in the next 10 years or so. But what happens when we reach that massive growth? Will the PE come down? Well, let's see what happens. So let's go ahead and find it together. But first, have you smashed that like button, man? Come on, man. So in 2022, I mean, if they're gonna do only 1 billion in net income, let's take what the PE is now. I think it's 110, let's say 100 PE. Let's just put that in 100 PE. If they do 1 billion net income, that's a stock price of 10 and market cap $100 million. I mean, that's not realistic. You guys think the stock price is going to collapse 90%? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. So 
Let's go look at history for a second. If we look at Amazon's PE history, they used to be in the thousands of PE for a couple of quarters or a few quarters. So I think for this year or for one quarter, they're gonna reach a thousand PE again. And with a thousand PE, we get a stock price of 98 bucks per share. So if the stock price right now is trading at 115 bucks, the recording of this video, and if they do $1 billion in net income by year end, I mean, analysts are saying half a billion, but I'm saying 1 billion. I mean, <laughs> that's just crazy, but, a thousand PE would give us 98 bucks per share with a market cap of $1 trillion. I mean, if you guys want to wait longer to buy Amazon stock on the cheap, if this happens, there's more downside to go for Amazon. And if you, if you can get Amazon stock below hundred bucks per share, that's a gift. That's a really good price. I think I'm probably going to buy more shares of Amazon, even though I'm buying, I'm going all into Tesla stock, man. You know, Amazon, you can't avoid Amazon, man. It's, it's, a, it's a Goliath company, but 98 bucks per share is absolutely insane. So let us keep it at that. 1,000 PE at 98 bucks per share and a trillion dollars in market cap. And let's say at this price, you decide to do $10,000 invest $10,000 into Amazon stock. So let's see what happens. In 2023, they bounced back to $24 billion. And to find the correct PE here or a intelligent guess for a correct PE, let's look at 2020. In 2020, there was a PE of 80 and it was a $21 billion in net income. So let's give it the same PE as that, 80 PE. With the 80 PE, we get a stock price of 189 bucks per share and a market cap almost reaching $2 trillion. Like, woohoo, sheesh, look at that. Doubling within a year. That means your investment has doubled in a year too. Your 10K has now turned to over 19K, bro. That is, this, that is beating Teslas already, man. That's beating Tesla already. My goodness, this, my friends, has gotten very, very interesting. Let's see what happens next. In 2024, I give it a PE of 60 because they're reaching records of $40 billion in net income. And if we look at 2021, 57 PE, a 60 PE would give us a stock price of 229 at a market cap over $2.3 trillion. Your 19,000 has now turned to over $23,000. Wow. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's insane. From 10K to $23,000 within two years, that's really good. But Tesla is winning now. They're in the lead now. <laughs> that's crazy. In 2025, I give it a PE of 55 and we get a stock price of 311 and we get a market cap over $3.2 trillion, almost reaching $32,000. So wow, 8K on top of that. That's that's nice. That's a really good return. In 2026, I gave it a PE of 50, and that will give us a stock price of 392 and a market cap over $4.1 trillion. And now your 32K has now turned to almost 40K. I mean, that's another 8K on top of that, 9K on top of that, man. That's insane. Sheesh. In 2027, I gave it a PE of 45, and that would give us a stock price of 472 and a market cap over $5 trillion. Your investment now from almost 40K is now turned to 48K, and look at that. We're almost reaching up to Tesla's return too. That's insane. And as you guys can see, the PE is getting less because their net income year over year growth is getting less as well. If this is yet to increase, then the PEs of, you know, 45, 50 is going to be a lot more than that because that's what Amazon history of PE PE shows. It's just a high PE growth stock. And I believe Tesla is that too. I don't think we're going to see 45 or 40 PE for Tesla anytime soon. So it's very interesting. These two Goliaths are really interesting when they go head to head. 2028, I gave it a PE of 40 and we get a stock price of 540 and a market cap over $5.8 trillion. Your 48K has now turned to 55K and Wow, look at that. Almost tied with Tesla's investment. Just almost a tie. In 2029, I gave it a PE of 35. Huh, that's gonna be interesting the day that we see Amazon trading at 35 PE. We get a stock price of 585 bucks per share and a market cap almost reaching 6.4 trillion dollars. And now your investment, your 10K investment has turned to over $59,000 and now it's beating Tesla. Dude, by 3K, 2.5K, are, are we gonna see the first company to be a better investment than Tesla? Dude, that's good. this is intense, this is crazy. All right. 2023, last year, man, it's the last year, with a PE of 30. Again, I don't think we're gonna see a 30 PE for Amazon in this decade, maybe next decade, but this decade, I don't see that happening. With a 30 PE, we get a stock price of 595 and a market cap over 6.5. 
trillion dollars. Before we look at the last investment to see who wins, we can already see that Tesla's market cap or valuation is a lot more than Amazon's, just by one trillion. Not, not too much, but just one trillion. Okay, one trillion is a big number. But anyways, does this mean that Amazon will be a better investment than Tesla? Let's find out. Your 59,000 from 2029 has now turned to 60, oh, so close, 60,500 bucks. So your 10K has turned to 60 and a half K, while for Tesla's, is almost reaching 64K. So you made 606% return with Amazon stock, which is wow, that's close. That is super duper close. Sheesh. And that's why, folks, that's why I have investments in both stocks. Obviously, 90% I'm in Tesla stock, but I do own some Amazon share as well because Amazon's a Goliath. They're putting a lot of investments today that's gonna pay off by 2030. I don't think Rivian is one of them, but um, definitely the other stuff that they're doing in terms of expanding their plane fleet, being more available in cities, downtowns, retail stores, warehouses. I mean, in Toronto, just near my place, maybe a 30 minute drive, they're making a massive warehouse. Like, I mean, it's a massive, massive warehouse. I think they can hire up to 10,000 employees. So it's crazy. Amazon never underestimated. It's a massive, massive company and a great investment. I know 2022 is a terrible year. We can blame Rivian for that because it's crashed 80% and Amazon owns a lot of shares of, of Rivian. I think 160 million Bruh. shares of Rivian, so rip. They're both great investments, man. I mean, for Tesla, if you put 10K now or end of the year at a price of 309, your investment will increase 6x or 7x, 640%. And for Amazon, if you buy at 98 bucks per share by end year, 10,000 worth of Amazon stock, that means by 2030, you'll get 606, 60K. I mean, they both 6x your money. And yes, these investments are not including contributions, withdrawals, nothing. Just putting the money in, forgetting about it and coming back within 2030. So that's insane. That's absolutely insane. Now let's reduce to 20 million and let's see if we can match Amazon's return. How much vehicles that we need to sell by 2030 to match what Amazon will give by 2030. So let's put 19 million. 608, oh, there we go. So just below, a little bit below, let's say 19 million. Still at a $7 trillion market cap. So that's just insane. Sheesh. Again, guys, personally, I don't think we're going to reach 20 million or even 19 million by 2030. Maybe we'll reach what 2029 shows here, 17 and a half million by 2030. I think that, that's more reasonable. But yeah, guys, that's insane. Amazon, I'm telling you guys, you don't want to bet against Amazon. It's it's a Goliath. In fact, guys, I'm planning to do a deep, deep dive into Amazon's stock price. That means instead of looking at the total revenue and net income completely, we're going to go bit by bit. Look at the AWS, look at the international sales, North American sales. We're going to do a deep dive on that. Go back 10 years, see what they're doing. Look how it's going to happen 10 years from now. And that's a video to look forward to. But I am surprised to see that analysts are saying in 2022, they're going to have half a billion dollars in net income. That is a, a little shocker to me. Like, why? That's just ridiculous. But it's a bad, it's gonna be a bad year. And if Amazon can just push everything bad in this year and continue doing well in the years coming, 2023, 2024, 2025, I think that'll be very ideal. But realistically speaking, I don't think Rivian is gonna, you know, hit their all time highs or go back to their all time highs anytime soon. I think Rivian is what's bringing down Amazon stock a bit too. And the sad part about that is that Amazon is stuck with Rivian. They are funding them until they do become successful. Question is though, will they become successful? That's a video for another day and an interesting one that I'll be doing soon as well. But anywho guys, the question that I have for you, yes, you, will Tesla become the world's most valued stock or company in the next five to 10 years? Well, in order to find out, Tesla has to go head to head with Apple. And thankfully, I've made that video and it's a spicy video too. So check it out. You'll find it interesting and informative. So it's good information. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.